Hello everyone, my name is Shumke Jewel and today I will be giving you 5 very useful tips from UI OS version 7.1. So the whole video is performed with me 4 i as the host but this should work on pretty much any Xiaomi device using MIUI version 7.1. Starting with the first one, we have the feature that when you receive any notification from any application, first party or third party, in the notification panel you can just swipe from the notification towards the downside with two fingers and this would show you more details about the exact notification. So for me it does work for Facebook, WhatsApp and Gmail pretty neatly. On number 2 we have a feature about which you might have heard, the hidden folder option in file explorer. So when you open the file explorer you can just swipe from the top to the bottom bar and this would open up the hidden file manager. You can provide a pin, pattern or a password to secure this and this can hide pretty much anything that you have in your file explorer. Again, this works pretty nicely for me and doesn't let my hidden files to be known to anyone. Number 3. Do you record audio very frequently? If yes, well this one is for you. In the audio recording application, you can hold on to the menu button and this would of course take you to more settings for the recorder and from here, the last last option would be of uh, changing the quality of the audio that you recorded via the microphone. So higher quality of course means that higher quality but uh, the lesser in the quality section you go, more space is available in your phone. So yes, you can configure according to your liking and choose whether to save space or have a better quality. Coming in at number 4, in the pre-installed browser that you get from UI, just hit the three dots at the bottom and tap settings and then you would see an option of scroll with volume buttons and yes it does what it says, you can easily use your volume buttons now to swipe across the websites that you visit on your browser. And this turns out to be really useful for one hand uses and when you are reading a long essay or something. But of course it has a drawback too and that is that whenever you want to adjust the volume levels you would of course have to come back to the home screen to do so. And that can turn out to be really pretty much annoying at some points of time so that is up to you if you want to toggle it or not. So pretty much the last feature which I would like to state as of now is in the settings. So under additional settings and under battery settings you have an option of managing application battery use. Under this you have a power saving mode for the device having advanced standard and the disabled mode. Also now you get the capability of managing each and every app individually and deciding what background network connections they can have and the location that the application are accessing when you aren't using them. So yes with that said we finally come to the end of this list. I hope that you guys found this video helpful enough that you would leave a like for me down there. So yes, that is basically it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys probably in the next one.